What's up YouTube? It's been a while since the last What's up YouTube? It's been a while since the last video and uh, started working on my columns today I uh, got a coat of black paint on the coffin that I did um, I'm still waiting to do the um, find somebody to do the, the painting on the side of the coffin because I do not have an artistic hand whatsoever so I like, like it to look nice so I might just end up leaving it just black um, but I still do have plans of doing a video showing a before and after um, the coffin working before using the fog machine or before using ice and using the pop bottles with maybe a thin layer of ice just to close in the gaps and I did find a fan if you watch that video to fit in that gap so but uh, yeah here's my latest thing that I'm working on it is my columns and I got this from hunt cast and uh, actually I made mine a little bigger than theirs they made theirs um, 12 or I'm sorry 6 foot tall mine's actually 7 foot tall uh, these pieces right here, I got a spacer that I'm using that goes in between here, so this will be even all the way around. Um, the bottom is even, as you can tell by looking at it. The top is not, because uh, I just put it together to get it up. But, uh, yeah, and this is actually what my plan is. With uh, Pandemic Cemetery did the video for me, I will be doing a drop panel uh, right here in this location here so as people come down the sidewalk here they're gonna get hit with that drop panel um, but yeah I want to go with the seven foot tall uh, columns and there's gonna be four of these there's gonna be two here one on each side of this walkway and if you can see over there where the electric outlets are there'll be one in front of each one of those electric outlets over there and, uh, and like I said and they will take in um, make the uh, presence of the front of the haunt and I'm actually thinking about putting some kind of sign across the entrance down there it says Mr. Bortles' haunt also but um, yeah I had actually if you might see I got a little board right here I'm using for a brace since my other board down here see my son right there just pulling nails for me but uh, yeah take a look at this board I got from Home Depot uh, yeah, bud. yeah. I don't know if you could tell or not. Look at the warpness of that board. I got this board two days ago. Is that insane or what? That is a two day warp for you folks. So uh, uh, I thought I would use regular wood and not use treated wood because these are going to be covered up and everything. Um, so I might take actually end up using regular wood or uh, treated wood on the other three. And maybe I'll just close this one in and, and uh, make the tree to wood project. Uh, I'll make the tree to column with the drop panel in it. But uh, yeah, I just could not believe the um, the warpness of that board in just those two days. I mean, that's just insane, man. I mean, you should be able to get have a board laying around a lot longer than that and um so yeah that caused a little bit of a headache but not too much but i want to go ahead and get this video up and show you what i'm doing i'm also uh, my son's pulling nails out of some old wood i have from a, a wall i took down and uh, i'm gonna make some saw horses so i'm thinking about shooting a video of that too just in case uh, somebody out there wants to make their own sawhorses instead of going out and buying them. So this is a nice quick brief video. Um, if you have not seen the video dealing with the weight loss contest, I'll put that in the description. And make sure you go watch that video and you follow the instructions. This is the Bulldozer with Bulldozer Hunt. Starting the column build. And I'm out of here.